of their squad, right? Like, uh, Inferno, I think, should be in Masonic's wheelhouse. It is their main map, their home map. Home over here on the streets of Tuscany as we go right into the pistol round, Trevor. It's tossing already with a double. This B attack off to a great start. Rolf can still stand in their way, though, as Bob XD has been smoked off. Oh, and that fish through the smoke. That's going to be something that sort of seals it. He's fortunate enough that the Glock doesn't connect on him for now, and that Rolf's able to get some lurk. But with Spook going down as well, it's basically Rolf just left in a 1v4 in this situation. Shouldn't be much for Bob XD to be able to do here as he's left so low. The Rolf is getting the space to work with at the moment. Bob's trying to help him out the best he can. Just try to get that info. Able to get a pick, actually, from Mini Pit. That's about all he can ask for, especially when you get the flick onto that pit player. Still, he has no smoke, no way to be able to actually clear out these players. But he'll just land a nice shot on the first one, and he's sticking it with the kit. It's not getting cleared out oh. in time. Those USB shots are missing. And Alele not connecting them in time, and Prospects are able to steal away the pistol. <laughs> what a dirty clutch there from Rolf. That was insane. This, the balls to actually go for the stick afterwards, and then uh, not even that much movement required to dodge the uh, headshot. Very, very lovely stuff. That's how the Prospects wanted to start this one off on the opposite side. With that, we got a bunch of Galils. They want to compete. They want to bring out that force by fight off against them. We'll have to see exactly how they want that to go. Gen Z's able to take down Hype initially. Another man advantage set up for Masonic early. They have that full CT control. They can just sandwich that B site this time around. Or just find more picks on A. They can play around wherever they wish. You can see this making these CTs very active, scurry around. Rolf could end up exposed, caught as he pushes further. Spook, but he's actually clearing the corner, but only does sort of like a half check. So, Bob XD will clear them out of arch, and it's up to Analele to be able to find a response of some kind, only able to find one before he's taken down. And with that Molly going down, they're going to realize that, oh wait, this bomb's being planted B. And we have a similar situation. It's Rolf with full HP with Bob XD in a clutch situation once again. Ah, uh, but it's it's kind of an impossible retake situation. As soon as the smoke over Herod Moto lands, you have to push through it. And there's no tan on the other side, right? To take your dang head off. Of course, Buzz does get killed in the end. But no tan has pulled uh, the old switcheroo, the old smoke criminal. He's just pushed through. And Rolf obviously has no idea about his position. He had other places to clear. And of course, he did not succeed. Very lovely stuff in the end to uh, manage to clutch it out. But making it the two versus two uh, was what got them over the line, right? Yeah, on top of that as well, it's important to remember that they also completely uh, just fall apart because Rolf didn't have that diffuse kit to be able to go for the clutch in this round versus the previous, which is worth keeping in mind. So now that they've been first eco, they're going to go back for the force buy in response, and these force wars are going to continue at least for now. We're going to have to see how long they can be sustained for. But it's going to mean that there's a little bit of almost aggression i'd say towards the a apartments not being done just yet but franson wants to get that initial pick with the deagle creeping on forward and it won't work out for him punish taken down now bob has to immediately throw down that smoke giveaway his position and they're actually going for arch here and they're giving individual duels against spook he's only able to find the one but with bob taking down no tan they actually have the space to work with and equal this down to a three on three and they know that bomb's dedicated on these eight players now oh and yeah, see what the end will kill just one more left to clear the bob xd won't give up that easy i say that goes into the open for the duel kind of had to right before he gets swarmed wanted to take that far away duel just doesn't go his way and the bomb of course will get planted by nc in the end rolf yet another impossible retake scenario here on a Try to give it his damnedest, and at this point, you can just run away, Rolf. This is uh, definitely not going to go your way, but he still 
wants that exit kill or even perhaps trying to take them down to such low HP that they can't save in the pit area. That would be spicy. Might even find Yancy unprepared here in the open, but he does not. Yancy was cognizant of the fact that the apartment's position was still available and of course he does take him down in the end. Two in a row for Masonic and Prospects forced to go on an eco. Yeah, I mean, knowing that they're not going to have any weaponry at all, or at best would have, again, just pretty much deagles and armor, maybe an MP9 or two if they were feeling really spicy and didn't want the utility. Um, but they would have to remove those AKs from those remaining players to get that economy as damaged as they could. Of course, unable to find such a thing. So, just Bob with the six frags, able to get that D. <laughs> Yinzi able to give away that individual duel, and now they have to go to this B bomb site, which Tossin with this back 10 will easily be able to farm up these players and get some bonus cash. As Bob does have that only Deagle in play out How much longer is he going to be uh, alive here? Because these pistols. Or mighty scary when you're just all alone. <laughs> Case in Especially point. when you give up the beat bomb site like that. Well, yeah. I wanted to rotate B anyways, despite the presence of these players. You can see him throwing the AKs down, and uh, they have to rotate to A awkwardly. And Bob XD has made his way here. No Notan's not going to be expecting this. Buzz does take him down, though. So, crisis averted for Masonic, but it did get in extremely hairy there for a second. Hype, obviously, yeah. not wanting any part of this pie. Yeah, it's just best to save that AK, have that one-shot headshot. But you can see, we're already off to a brawling start. This is supposed to be Masonic's pick, but this is just a fight. It's almost hard to tell uh, what side's on CT at this point, as things are just getting a bit silly with just all the aggression, just retaking B site before the bombs even planted. Unfortunately, allowing them to rotate to that A site could perhaps have a bait and switch in the future with that sort of situation. But for now, it's Masonic able to safely get the three rounds converted, though just, I feel like that damage might kind of haunt them and just build confidence on the CT side. After all, with them building yeah. so much economy, you know, getting all these USB picks and stuff. Yeah, it's one of those uh, win conditions, right? Not... You still have to look good on the rounds that you do lose, and this one was uh, doomed from the start, but quite a few opportunities handily used by the prospect side, getting them into a full buy. Without an AWP, of course, Spook does have the FAMAS. The grenades are plentiful, and that's kind of what counts on Inferno. You just really have to use those grenades on all of those tight choke points that the map provides. As we can see, Tossin actually getting past one of the checkpoint, the choke points already. Uh, just makes his way onto short. A ballsy push. Solo trying to open up the site. And as the flash comes through, Franson is taken completely aside by his uh, very forward positioning. Bob XD can't even uh, stay alive long enough in the pit. And that's what pretty much causes Hype's uh, death in the end as well. He tried to go help his teammate, but as he was pushing into the site, it was already too late. Sadly for him. It's prospects with uh, some unfortunate situations. They're, they're not going their way. And Masonic, hey, uh, you know, aggression very much uh, used well there by Tossin. Very ballsy Yeah, they push. find a gap. They they just capitalize it on perfectly. It's just like, hey, I've been able to creep up short. There's no one peeking me. There's no one engaging me. Bob XD being a little bit too passive on the pit, allowing those players to lurk on up and just get communicated with to hey set me up for a flashbang so i can find this entry on the a site and they don't even have to worry about the pit player they clear the site are able to easily isolate that pit player out and then you know just end up getting these 1v1 duels with the cts peeking into them instead and it just makes it super easy for them to be able to confirm and get that fourth round and leave prospects in a bit of a problematic situation even though they looked so competitive so far and if you want to stay competitive in this cutthroat uh, betting world, ladies and gentlemen, well, a little bit of a top-up bonus never hurt anyone. TBS3 is the code you want to be using. That's Thunderpick Bitcoin Series 3, of course, uh, when you deposit over at Thunderpick. You can use the link right below the stream to get going. It's up to 550 bucks, so 
even the most hazardous of you can get rewarded and use our sick deals over here at Thunderpick. Now then, prospects. Obviously, they use the code because they got enough money uh, to get a buy going in this one. Despite losing previous and many beforehand, but losing a player early on in the round is never a good sign. Spook gets spooked over here on Banana, and uh, that FAMAS should be taken back. Bob XD could certainly use it. However, this attack on A is starting to wind up. Yeah, and with that, they're at least trying to set up throw some nades, make people concerned, because they don't have this mid control, so they can't call any bluff with that smoke at the moment. All they can see is that there's no one directly peeking short, but for how long is a bit of the mystery on their hands. They don't know how long that's going to be the case, because they could creep up any moment, but they're just deciding to go arch afterwards. They do have those smokes to help them push and get that control for the split A take. They're executing beautifully. Just two players on the site. Bob is stuck in mini pit with nothing more than an MP9. Hype only able to find the one. So it's up to Bob able to find more. And those smokes have faded away. So now they've been able to delay for enough time. Oh. That as Tossin goes down, Bob is handling this pit position perfectly. Finally gets taken down. Branson just has to lurk apartments here and just let roll handle the rest as he holds himself from library that molly being able to, to deny that default plant position works beautifully but francis position is known he knows buzz is on the ground oh. forces him to get off that plant able to get some beautiful shots with that from moss and gets the clutch for his team to get prospects too oh man that was a lot of individual performances there are the prospects i mean bob xd that positioning was awful uh, to get anything done, having to awkwardly look straight up into the sky, but that's where he finds Tossin, and, uh, well, he made enough of a hubbub around to give Franzen the space for this lovely jump up on the box. That's some, uh, yeah, maybe just too good movement as well. for him to adjust the shot. Yeah, that too, it's just, because, uh... Yeah. No, you go on. There's plenty of opportunities for him to land it. I mean, you can see it's just spreading spamming that AK, just spraying it wildly. The problem was he was spamming it all, assuming he would go around the box, not on top of it, understandably. So he's not able to connect those shots. Yeah. You know? And it was impressive movement as well to jump on the box directly. Uh, some lesser players may have fumbled that one a little bit, but the smooth movement, always uh, a sign of like a, a top-tier player, as we all know. Underrated. Because all everyone ever notices is the sick flicks, and Francis is going to have to maybe pull some of those off. Though he is uh, helped out by Bob XD in the lower area. Now, the jig is up. They know there's two players waiting on short, and it's the long player that dies in the process. But it's Masonic that can actually pull out of this situation with the lead. However, they're not satisfied with just that. Buzz even makes his way into pit, where he does get a double, and he clears out a site all by himself. The one-man army gives him free buzz cuts. Yeah, and this is where the challenge comes in. These sites are, can be very difficult to hold, just failing to find a frag or two, and then suddenly the round falls apart. You're left back into an awkward save position once again. Masonic are able to constantly get these responses, trade toe-in-toe -toe with prospects, and find these opportunities to just crash into these sites, and prospects aren't able to keep up with it getting punished, putting them onto these saves once again, and you can't just have someone with the FAMAS clutch every round like Franson did in the previous. And we can see almost all the frags from Prospects, even though they were competitive that first round or two, almost all of them are just on Bob single-handedly at this point. Terrorists win. Just working with on him almost his entire team yep. it takes just to add up to his frags and that means prospects are going to call a timeout because they're going to figure out uh what they're doing wrong here how the hell do we counter bob xd he's got like 10 frags it'll cool off of course uh we're going to be returning to the mean a little bit not going to have that massive of a lead uh on just one player as uh, masonic skills are a lot more uh, spread out a lot more standard no one really sandbagging for the time being. But yeah. Prospects on the timeout to actually figure out 
what the hell to do with this broken buy. I, I was waiting to see if uh, they would actually opt for any better weaponry, but they're just going to be sticking to that magical two to three thousand dollar mark where you are always uh, allowed another buy in the next round, especially with a loss bonus as big as this one. Should be one away from maximum, so 3,000 bucks, I assume, you know, 2,900. But I guess we'll see later on as uh, they will try to make do with what they have. Ooh, and what they have is spook, spook on the... On the boost. Yeah, nice uh, boost there. Oh. He does get a kill, actually, from it, so that's the opener. Let's see if Masonic can answer right back, and of course they do. Rolf gets punished for his positioning in the apartments. Good spam, good read coming on out, and now Hype has to back on up. Able to just take that MP9 and tuck away. He'll be trying to do what Bob did in the previous, but instead, Bob will be solo anchoring, picking up his comrades M4 to try to support that B site, keep them away. The shots trying to bait these rotations, but as we can see, that bomb's left towards T spawn still, not dedicated just yet, but they'll set up for a B take despite that for now. But you can see just the fact they're not actually going in with it is just making Masonic fail to convince prospects that they're going to this B site. For now, three players stacked up. They can go wherever they wish, and they just decide they want to re-execute on to B. Taking the risk that it was too obvious and baited those rotations into the A site instead, which is working perfectly. So as they throw the second set of nades to execute in, they're going to have to do their best to rotate or just leave Bob alone to die. Yet seen, but able to stay alive for now. Ooh. Currently a 4v4 retake. He's able to dodge those shots. Getting rushed down, though. Having to reload that A1. Gets left alone. And now the rest of Prospects left weaponless and with the bomb site taken over. Yeah, an unfortunate situation there, but you you blow your entire magazine uh, so early, right? You can't even go for that kind of late kill of the potential bomb planter. But yeah, that's the price they pay, and uh, that's another kill for Buzz as he goes on the hunt for more. Not entirely sure why he would be risking here, as, uh, well, obviously there's an AWP to find, but, you know, there was also Franson. Could have been waiting around any corner, could have just killed you and taken the AK. Now you got two weapons on that side to save. Uh, but Masonic, you know, they do fancy a challenge. Taking down the opera that's already as uh, tucked into T-spawn as he is. That's a challenge that's a little bit too big. Not really a fan of them actually going for this one, but uh, eh, they reckoned they could get him. Just, we could see in the end, they could not. AWP saved over, as prospects are going to have a lovely buy in this one. Sonic, though, wiping their tears with uh, $100 bills here, because they got a nice lead going, and uh, a nice economic cushion to support them should they lose rounds here in the future. And this one just might be that kind of around where we're about to see who is going to get this first engagement here. Oh, ah, beautiful. Very nice timing there to prevent Tossin from making it into apartments, and that's going to be... I was going to say, like, setting up Franson to do some aggressive stuff in apartments. Nah, just throws the one grenade and gets out of there. Uh, it's simple and sweet. Just show a little bit of presence and then back on up. Hope you do a decent bit of nade damage and force them back. So it looks like Prospects want to take a risk on their B defense here and fight towards those sandbags. Keep those players back for now. And they will actually respect it backing on up. So risk and danger averted for now. They're setting up which player to boost up. I'm not entirely sure. Looks like, oh, okay. They're going to mm -hmm. boost over to peek over the molly just to try to have an off angle to find an opportunity for a pick. For all, you have a lurk smoke being thrown onto that B site, with of course no one following it because they're taking up this boost situation. Yeah. And these players taking over A, they can kind of call what's going on. It's a bit of a fake situation. There is time still for them to rotate back to B, which is exactly what they'll do. But still, those smokes following on up. And we still have one more smoke left on Spook, so they will have to push through a smoke to be able to get this bomb down. It's going to be up for the next 10 seconds. They're going to have very little time left. So they have to rush on through. It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath. But Yenzi is able to save it yep. and make it a three-on-three. -three, get that bomb down. 
and completely salvage a round that should have been freely in Prospect's hands. No, it's a very sticky situation you find yourself in when uh, it's kind of that chaotic with that little time remaining. You know, you first you fake B, then you fake A. Now the execute to B is uh, successful, but the very first kill in this retake has already happened. Prospect's opening this defense wide open as it's uh, nice positioning from Buzz and Yancy. It's just that their positions are now known and the crossfire is set up. However, Buzz and Yancy, both of them, finding a kill each. Even Buzz finding France in there could have just played a little bit more passively and just hid behind the box. It was already too late to save the round, but he just gets the kill regardless. And that is Masonic with a uh, very touch-and-go round. Very low time remaining, right? Very uh, uh, high odds of uh, this one going awry at some point. It's just uh, at no point did things ever turn in their enemy's favor. We see now them taking a commanding lead. And Prospects, obviously, broke again. Yeah, trying to do what they can, but they sound like dealing these rounds one at a time. Good play, going for the boost once again, trying to find picks with what weapons they do have while playing that economy correctly. As you know, if you just keep stealing these rounds away on the T side, it can be so rough. As Franson finds another, but it seems like a bit of fortune has finally gone the prospect's way as Hype finds a double, able to adjust with that mid-air spray, trying to jump between the flower pots awkwardly on the building. Be able to clear it out, and and Lele is the last one left, trying to clear out Rolf. Be able to do so, but that bombs down bottom mid, so he's gonna have to fight his way for it. And yep, it's the first place prospects went to clear after that B site was taken. Just like, well, he doesn't have the bomb, so it's got to be here somewhere. And they check, confirm it. It's in that classic default position, so he'll just be able to hold the bomb from there, even smoke him off. For a bit of extra me good measure. Yeah, just like, you know, we already won this round, now let's extra win this round by smoking him off so he has no chance of coming in there. Not even enough time to sneak around it, obviously, so you know he has to kind of take that. And let's just double smoke it in the end. Why not? Give Analele uh, kind of impetus to just go save toward the A site, as weird as that sounds. But he might be walking into a trap. It's hype. The the wild card here, oh. just placed somewhere else, and of course, fortune favors him as he was standing still, and Lele was not looking at every conceivable corner there, of course. Gets taken out. Uh, a tragic round from Masonic after uh, such clean rounds beforehand, this time just getting massacred as they take top middle, and the rest is history. Yeah, I'd say fortunately enough for them at least, it would appear that that happened after time. So it could have been mistaken on that. Mm. Oh, but, oh that was all right. Died after time, yeah. then yeah. Seems like they seems like they bought on up. Yeah, it was considered enemy emulation. Good enough. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> we will. We will. Enemy emulation. Though we could have some emulation as all this fire is being thrown down into banana. And a bit of nades trying to trade out the damage, but instead it's these B players tagged on down a little bit from a good nade earlier. Branson's trying to set up. Doing the classic switching too early after you throw the nade. Though, so we'll be able to have enough time to throw down the molly and have its purpose served still. Able to deny that presence for now. Though they are fully respecting and giving them the space on A. And even if it's due to that dominance, that matter of respect is now just putting them in this situation where they can just get crushed down at any second. The beautiful flashbang and it's good off angle Bob is using to try to get that initial pick advantage if they push on up and set up to try to flash towards Arch. They clear towards that position, act like they don't know if anyone's there. So they could set up pipe to lurk with that AWP and get a pick off guard. No one was looking that way when they peeked on up, but instead he's going to have to regain that arch control once again. Branson trying to anchor that bomb site, not panning out, but will be able to take out that individual op of Yancy. But Buzz is able to deny Bob any individual picks, and they're left in a 3v3 retake, able to get those rotations quickly, but now having to deal with that op reloading, with all those spam shots going through. 
have him deciding to lurk through those apartments late. It's a good molly, considering it forces people off of those boxes. Hype, hoping for someone in that pit position, but instead it's just a one-player mini pit. They're assuming they've cleared it out. They have the head, they can see the first, and they cleared out Tossin. They know where this last player is. He's just in that default box, trying to clear him out near Cold Zera. Able to find him, take him down, and they have enough time on that defuse. And Prospect's able to start building this recovery on the CT side. Jesus, I mean, after such a commanding side to take, I thought the round was over. 3v3, you know, never good for retakes, but uh, uh, Masonic letting it go in the end. Uh, unfortunate uh, sort of duel is not going their way although buzz has definitely showed up as we could see in uh the player comparison right we talked about bob xd having a lot of kills well ever since then uh trevor uh, he's uh, not actually gotten any kills i believe still staying on that 10 meanwhile buzz with this round especially just uh making a name for himself over there on 14 already before we even get to our 12th round, as we are in that one right now. Masonic, every time they attack this A site, I feel like the defense can't do really much about it. This time, of course, the weaponry is uh, much, much worse. And Hype from the library does at least get one on the fadeaway shot. But it's Rolf that jumps in and helps him out to clean up all of this mess. Finding the fifth round with only Rolf having fallen. Hey, he did get three kills, so jobs are good. Yep, and a clean deagle shot to finish it up as well. Just a good job just having that space to be able to go for that arch control to begin with. Just not able to land any of those shots with those pistols to have the potential to steal away yet another round, which is good for prospects as I feel like you'd be so demoralizing if you just lost another round in one of those situations where you just had the advantage and everything on your side. But now we get back into the full buys who reset a little bit. Bit of a contest for second mid, or at least it appeared to be such a situation for a second. But instead, we go back to the more traditional heavy nades towards log after heavily tagging down their opera with that direct hit with the nade bringing pipe all the way down to 42 for those reason he is on that awp should be fine for them not able to connect the anti-flash and rolf gets taken down early spook getting brought down and this hp is so low as well as a man deficit for prospects this is going to be a rough round for them to convert Very even much. if masonic decide to stick towards a here I think they're actually going to be doing that. You know, you do some damage on B, you assume you're good, the enemies are going to be rotating one toward that second letter of the alphabet, but it is uh, not occurring exactly that way. Three defenders still waiting here on A as Franson is not feeling the commitment too much. Bob XD, though, once he confirms that things are available here, Franson pushes through, gets a nice double. His teammates didn't help him out uh, too much other than making space for him, not connecting as many shots, but they're both low HP now, Franson and Hype, and Hype has no idea about Yancy being here. He does now, but the other problem is his teammate just died to get that information, and a very nice quick scope onto Yancy does uh, mean that he kind of gives away the fact that Buzz can go pick up the bomb and plant it, but... Now it's a one versus one, and you know what they say about these ones, uh, fortune very much favors the AK or the pistol or anything other than the AWP when it's low HP versus low HP, and Buzz not really in the best of positions there, just has to play proactively and he can cover both uh, angles no problem, and yeah, even uh, getting a headshot onto Hype for good measure, overkill if I ever saw it. Yeah, Hype looking a little bit lost interesting position just trying to jump on to the graveyard and just kind of just peeking around a little too frantically to be able to land the shot to begin with so kind of setting himself up for failure a little bit i have to say going for that retake a good attempt to try to recover and keep that a site and keep it a close fight but again you can see that he just wildly swings to the right and just leaves himself looking the wrong direction so he gets caught taken down. But that's when the risk comes in. Branson trying to respond, able to find a double in just the middle of mid. 
and Bob able to capitalize off of that to find another in the apartments. And we have a 4v2, and it's only been 25 seconds into this round. It feels yeah. like nothing has been... <laughs> the round just started, and it feels like it's already ended. The, potentially. At least compared to the previous rounds when uh, <laughs> Prospect... Obviously, potentially, right? But uh, Prospect uh, playing so many rounds, right, uh, as of late quite defensively uh, just waiting for these executes to occur finally had enough wanted to change up the pace a little bit and uh yeah franson's been uh hot enough to entrust him with those difficult shots so great job from the man himself but let's see what the danes can do now as they are going toward b the smoke does give them a big enough gap to work with it's just you don't know where everyone is and inside of pool no tan does drown spook but it's uh him that gets traded off in the end that it's Yancy left in a one versus three which he wants nothing to do with bomb on his back returns down banana as he does know someone's waiting for him there already doesn't fancy taking the duel through the smoke either figures ah whatever i'll just try and win the one versus two and to be fair he does get the first one even knows where the second one is thanks to that molotov but time is indeed running out and hype with that smoke could have actually prevented him from entering wholesale however he does fancy actually just taking the shot and he does hit it through the wall but yancy was already tagged down so much that the wall bank does in fact guarantee the kill and of course Good job, Franson, for getting them the lead in the first place. It was a lot closer in the end than maybe we would have uh, been happy to admit. But even if he crossed to the bomb site there in the end, uh, the chances of a uh, bomb plant actually going down were slim to none. Yeah. Oh, more There's aggression. It's going to be a rough situation, but he did have the chance. And I like this. You have the aggression work on you mid last round. I don't know exactly what the recon is, but you would expect it not to be the strongest. So just take the fight in mid once again. Try to catch them by surprise, but they they just fail against the duel against Hassan, which means they toss a few weapons away. Now Hype is stuck in boiler. Everyone's crawling around him, starting to creep on up, and Tossin again with another a three frag in this round. He happily picks up that AWP and prospects creative idea a good adjustment in the situation but now it's all left to spook try to take them down good molly forces them out into the open he finds the double leaves it to a 2v1 and is set up to be able to recover this round but it'll be up to roll once again in another 1v1 clutch and no tan is running to the other bomb site as is Rolf, immediately, just uh, smelling that uh, something was fishy over there over at the A site. Should be hearing these footsteps now, as Rolf did hit shift fast enough. Still, the Molotov comes through, but hey, I have a pocket extinguisher over here. And now he knows that the bomb planter is somewhere on the left side, but where could he be hiding? Three possible boxes, Whoa. as Notan was behind door number one the entire time, swings out and kills Rolf. What a back and round back and forth round right just uh tossing with the three entries here and then spook you think he turns the ties entirely but no tan was still alive and making it to the b-side first was the difference maker he needed yeah difference maker indeed and that just means they're able to get this nine six enough you can work with going on to the t-side shouldn't be too much of an issue for prospects it is certainly workable but masonic have been able to steal away so many rounds and it shows that excellence and knowledge on their map pick here of Inferno and the ability to perform on it. So it's good to have that nice start, especially when it's on your own map pick, to show your confidence, get that round lead, and be able to set yourself up to give some room to breathe going into this defense. Question is, how do they want to go with this? And I think one thing to point in mind is even though they lost the second, they did win that pistol and were set up to be able to go for more. So this could have gone a lot more in the favor of prospects and made this map a lot more competitive than it is at the moment. I'm not yeah. saying that's not, but certainly not the ideal situation. So Spook with the P250 is forced to be reckoned with. Willing to play that game of chicken with Tossin. As a chicken walks Francis in front of him, fine. trying to play chicken as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing the best Chicken job wants at this to point, join in. I think. Whoa. One of those classic super long from T-Spawn Smokes. 
as they full commit in. Playing a little bit too passive on the CT engagements. So prospects take full advantage of it. Branson just with the double. He is fed up. He wants to find some rounds for this T side. And sure, prospects did an impossible retake on the B side in the pistol round. But this one's even more difficult. And I don't think they're going to be able to get away with it on the side of Masonic. Nah, I mean, on pistol rounds, anything's possible, but you are kind of running out of time when Yancy is not even in the same goddamn galaxy as this bomb, right? He is uh, uh, stuck on banana as well. Just, what are you going to do? One tap, all three guys looking at you right now. Well, it's just the two of them, and he does take care of the first, but now, hype is hiding. And uh, the, the bomb is actually left all by itself. Analele, he tapped it, I believe, and Franson does come to the rescue, even though Yancy finds all the kills in the end, it was too late, and that's kind of the problem with uh, doing two versus four retakes, you might get all the kills, but you're not also defusing that bomb, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was no kit available on the floor either, wasn't paying attention to that specifically, but... Either way, then you have to go pick up the kit, and that costs you about as much time as it saves. It's, uh, it's a whole ordeal. A whole, whole ordeal. Likely just to try to just find some frags for some bonus cash. That might have been what made the difference, so they could be able to grab that M4 after all. Just yeah. Trying to find what they can, and they're willing to, They're changing it up. Not playing so passive banana this round. However, it goes about just as poorly. A direct nade, double mollies into <laughs> that pit, and a Galil headshot through the corner of that half wall for good measure, just in case, you know. And there's just two players left in the apartments lurking with with uh, Deagle, sorry. And they're gonna run into Franson's AK pretty soon. Although he's not got his uh, crosshair trained on the exact position, it's Buzz that gives him a free buzz cut as he exits the apartments. A very, very quick shot there from the man himself. As Tossin is looking to replicate Buzz's successes. However, two missed opportunities so far. Three, fourth time's the charm, I suppose. And that's uh, an AK that can be salvaged into the next round. Masonic, hey, if you lose the pistol, at least you uh, make the best out of the second round, short of winning it, of course, because uh, Prospects made sure you weren't going to be winning this round earlier on. That assault toward Banana with all of that utility, those flashes being thrown very late, that double molly behind sandbags, it was overkill city, uh, as, of course, the round was obviously won by the Swedes in the end. It's uh, down to the Danes to respond, but not yet. They got two rifles here. They're not going to be fully committing around them, obviously. Just trying to keep that economy honest for the T's. Yeah, trying to do the best they can to keep it honest. Though, interestingly, Rolf keeping with the stolen MP9 and a couple of pistols once again being able to be bought up by Masonic. And having those two stolen weapons to work with to, or at least the one stolen weapon, technically the other one's safe, of course. But it gives them something to work with and they have some cheeky off angles, some nice opportunities to just find some early picks. And they're just playing very back, not giving away any information away to the side of prospects. Want them to be scared, concerned about them full eco sight, which even though they aren't, those weapons will be enough to compensate what the deadliness of the USPs would be. Spook carefully peeks around this. Able to bait out the shots, have the info. See Tossin at that angle. Knows that there's two players now on this B site. Immediately smoking it off in response. And they're setting up to boost over the smoke. To try to find some more info. Smart. Try to find that pick that they hunger for so desperately. And decide to just go screw it and just push through. Toss unable to find one, but of course that trade immediately comes on in. And now they're going to respond to that with a full B execute in turn. And you know, Tan wants to find that timing, but it's going to be a 4v4 retake at best for Masonic here. I thought Tossin was sent in as on a suicide mission to, uh, I don't know, allow for oh. the rotates to come in faster. But hey, the rotates did come in, and Analele from that rotate gets a very nice kill from Flowers, as uh, the unexpected headshot will be kind of the only highlight of this retake, in my opinion. As the bomb does get planted, it's Buzz and Yancy with a difficult decision ahead of them them, right? Uh, 
save the AK or try the retake. And as soon as Yancy dies here, which I guess is not going to be happening, that should be over. And yeah, Yancy does in fact get a kill. Even Spook from Triple Box doesn't save enough time. They just didn't delay at all here. They just went for the fights here, prospects, and they were smacked down. Masonic. This was not a round they should have picked up. They completely seized the opportunity. They were able to deal enough damage with those pistols to allow them to be able to fight with those proper rifles to go for that retake. Again, no one covering that bomb planner, just letting that boost come in. Just a classic mistake that's always made, and it just comes to benefit once again. And now, Masonic are able to deny prospects of getting an early three-round streak to be able to tie that scoreboard. So, if it isn't for that AWP on Yancy, I, I believe that it'd be a very equal round. But it's going to give them that advantage if they can find it. Forcing that peak. So, wisely giving up the angle after holding it for so long. Doesn't want to be caught out. Just setting back into this default play. Everything's still there for prospects to just win a round, immediately reset this and recover. Though there will be a little bit of money to get Masonic at least a mixed by situation, see if they can steal away another. They very well could. Just making a death ball of players here on top middle. All of them heading long, except for that one lurk that's keeping an eye on short for now, but it's Yancy with uh, his eye on two players there. The Kalat comes through, impales two of them with one bullet, and that's how he ends Prospect's uh, prospect in this very round. The A split should not be successful at this juncture, as we do have Buzz in pit, a crossfire towards site, even if Yancy dies, which uh, I'm surprised he didn't get that pixel shot onto Rolf gives them a new lease of life maybe but hey 30 seconds left you gotta push in and you gotta find like two kills for the price of one immediately of course the trade happens instead and it's spook that makes it a one versus one on the bomb site itself finds the headshot as well it will be securing the bomb plant now comes the more difficult part of this round though actually get into a good after plant position and hey balcony should be just what the doctor ordered but as soon as that defuse starts one player is going to be looking up at balcony you just have to trick him you just have to show up on short instead and with the speed that these two cts are going forward they might just have enough time for a flank oh but no tan he read that one a mile away c spook takes care of him and goes for the bomb to do the same yeah just a hair slow on the timing to be able to catch them out no tan just able to clear the entire site and just like he's not here uh is he behind us then and then shows up right behind him and he's just able to get that frag get that money. a good attempt from spook to be able to recover it to try to find that chance for prospects to get back into the round but again this is masonic's map pick and they are playing fantastic on this defense not letting their opportunity slip by them once they're able to find it. And prospects now have to try to make a little bit of a miracle happen with just some deals in Attack 9. They want to stop Masonic from getting close to that end game on their own score line. But fortunately enough, able to dodge those names for now. Set things up as Buzz takes that initial contact. Branson willing to repeat that duel even though he is just the P250, not even that one-shot headshot possibility. And just so much heavy utility being used, Banana. Sonic asserting that control. And interestingly enough, no one on prospects trying to contest it for now, just trying to patiently wait, find that opportunity. So they don't want to peek into that sniper on Yanzi. And it leaves 5v5 delayed. Flashbang, pop flash doesn't work. And the molly will, should force him back. But instead, the, he waits patiently for a flashbang to be able to get that space. Willing to take that HP damage down to 34. But that means that nade can oh. easily finish him off. But that creates the space for them to rush into this B site and do what they can. But what it is is a massive multi frag for Anne Lele. Oh. But no tins left blind. And he's headshot. They do have control of the site, though, and Nade for the Troubles will bring them down so low. I think it's just a matter of time before this round. The retake is secured, and it would be an absolute nightmare if they do something with this.
Uh, but the fact that Hype gets the M4 here, that was a new lease on life. It's just unfortunate that at the end he takes the smoke grenade out and kind of gives up his life to the USP of Yensi. Uh, prospects very strongly fighting their way back into this one uh, with the B take. However, in the end it was just not enough. Three defuses in a row. Prospects are actually uh, getting these bombs down. It's just uh, kind of unable to finish it off although given the investments they threw into that previous round hey getting that many kills and the bomb plant you're gonna count that as a success but you need some literal successes here prospects this is masonic's map pick uh and their best map their home map i dare say if prospects manage to find this one here i think a 2-0 should be quite doable for them on the next of course, Overpass being that map, a very weak map for Masonic and quite strong for Prospects. And it all comes down to Ancient, which is a lot more balanced uh, as the third map, should we get to it. An exciting series is sure to be present here. Masonic, they need to actually pick this one up, otherwise oh. it's game over. And yeah. the uh, Lovely trade on the nade damage. Yeah, he just... Two players chipped down below half. Standard, like, exchange of utility on Banana, right? You throw a rock, they throw a rock right back. And seems they're trying to throw some more util toward this A site to maybe do the same here. France and an apps though. Yeah, patiently waiting, trying to set up. And it's enough that they're able to start baiting out this utility. Though there's still a Molly on Yancy to be able to support as he's focused on Boiler here. It can still Molly has the short position, though Bob's just looking for the opportunity to lurk on by. He definitely heard that click of the scope, and that Molly comes in at the perfect time to give him the space. And they're actually waterfalling three players down here. It's going to be difficult for the op to respond with as Flashbang is coming out. He's able to land that first shot at point blank, switches to USP, and that's enough for Tossin to be able to support him. And Yunsi will be able to get another shot in here at any moment, taking down Spook, and Buzz gets the response. Buzz cutting down Prospects, and a round that was set up to be their own successful one, and Prospects denied this setup to be able to get to double digits, and instead it's Masonic just sprinting towards that finish line. But these rounds are so touch and go, like, <laughs> I don't know, the kind of losing that uh, A attack quite early, it looked like it had more potential than it showed in the end. In this round, not much potential at all for Prospects. They need an opener. They need it soon. Spook gonna be denied that one, of course. The Molotov slowing him in his tracks as the HE whizzes past his head. Not gonna do any damage there. Bob XD can say the same. But he's still alive and kicking. Still looking for these shots with the Deagle. But Masonic are just gonna be playing what worked uh, in the previous. Just playing further back, waiting for the engagements to come to them. And, uh, of course, Yancy waiting on long to see those T's crossing yet again. He's been very, very consistent on that angle. And wouldn't you know it, Mr. Consistent delivers a kill yet again. Bob XD almost walks into his crosshair again, but salvages the AK nonetheless. Yep, and with that salvage, that means that they can potentially get something done but instead it's this op once again causing so many problems working on forward able to find a tag on to spook deny take him down in another shot yes. and just keep going off Go. with this awp uses the awp or the usp rather as the finish ace gets the full ace tearing them apart so clean on these op shots yeah just fully controlling the server and just after that, what do you do on prospects? You just feel like you're just resigned and just feels like they're just thinking about the second map at this point. You just don't go long. I already talked about Yensi's uh, very big impact uh, and like consistent impact on long. They just try to, you know, test out his consistency to the nth degree and unsuccessful in the end they were. Masonic, very strange decision to be putting four players at the very beginning of the round onto uh, B. I guess they were hoping for some kind of a B rush, maybe thinking Prospects has a lot less money than they do. But the money is very much present, and the A presence is wanting to be gained, as this time it's not Yancy on long that dominates, but Tossin and Buzz. 
Yancy, meanwhile, he was on balcony where the position wasn't as inclined to get him a multi-frag round. Bomb gets planted. I spoke too soon. Rolf gets taken down by the HE. It explodes before the bomb does. Meanwhile, Hype makes use of that uh, commotion to just peek into long, get himself a double, and get him back into this round. It looked scary there uh, once Rolf goes down before the bomb plant, but now it should be a win for prospects. Finally, after all this time, as Francis, Francis is still hiding behind the box, peeking on out, Notan had no chance. Yeah, that's just one of those retakes you just really hope that just should be denied. And again, Buzz finds a way to get them into it. Find so much damage in LLA getting that pick. And it's just hype going for this aggressive little lurk through arch that's able to find everything. So if you want to find the best way to get value on your betting odds, we have the deal to get 100% bonus on top of your deposit up to 550 bucks with the code TBS3 using the link in the chat or the banner down below. You have a double AWP set up from Masonic to try to adjust and close the series out or the first map of the series rather. Based on, you know, Yancy's uh, successes on that weapon, maybe giving one to Analele wouldn't be a bad idea. They don't even have to kind of uh, move Yancy off of long now, as the one round when they did do that, they were very much punished on that very same position. So yeah, probably best to stick to what works. And what works is toss on getting these openers. Finding Bob XD kind of sniffing around top mid, seeing what's up, well, What's down is his pulse. He is now deceased. And uh, the B site is very much stacked. Prospects are probably walking into a trap right now. It's a uh, buzz, of course, that rotates. But he shouldn't be light years away once this uh, take commences. Yeah, once this take commences, that's when the bread and butter gets rolling, everything's prepared, and these players are forced to anchor. They do have that man advantage already, but just getting mollied out of every position, the proper execute coming in, but Analele able to get those off shots to give Notan enough space Yo. to stay alive. And again, it's those AWPs able to just snip snap, take picks off one at a time, and just rip prospects apart. That's how you want to be playing the AWP. Shot, cover, shot, cover. Or if you're Yancy, of course, shot, fall back into uh, deeper cover and then just uh, keep falling back and back until the entire enemy team is dead. Uh, yeah, okay. We have like two very consistent oppers on the server right now. And uh, unfortunately for prospects, neither of them are theirs. This uh, T half has been an absolute uh, disaster for the Swedes. And this one... And Masonic are just counting down the seconds until we get to the next map of Overpass. But Inferno's not over yet, folks. Bob XD may have died. The top mid has been taken. And this execute, you know, they found many entries already in the past. It's just that this time, <laughs> Branson gets a little bit more than he bargains for when he jumps around the corner to bait out the shots. He baits them right into his body as Tossin does get the double. And then Yancy within Forget about you, Yancy, of course. Just pokes out of long. Ends this round, essentially, because just hype left in a one versus three. And he's got no bomb. Yeah, no bomb. No hopes, really. Might be able to get this pop flash through to get one, but not even that. Buzz will be able to save his teammate using those dualies running around. And Masonic with a quick first map, 16 to 9. It's going to be a little bit of a rough turn that beautiful spray tossing just the confidence coming on in just giving the space for these oppers to continue just being a thorn and with that